Remember the story about a gene from the Arctic flounder being added to the DNA of tomatoes? The gene in question was one that codes for an antifreeze protein, and the idea was that incorporating this gene into the genome of a tomato would prevent the tomato from freezing, should the temperature drop below freezing as it sometimes does in southern climes where tomatoes are grown. A clever idea, but it was never put into practice. Nevertheless, anti-GMO advocates used the story to frighten people about eating the fishy tomatoes. Now, however, we have a real example of an animal gene being inserted into a plant. The gene comes not from a fish, but from a pig, and it has been inserted not into a tomato, but into a soybean. Mulek, a UK company, has isolated some pig genes and inserted them into the genome of a soybean with the result that when the transgenic soybeans are grown, of a quarter of the protein they produce are porcine proteins. The company does not identify the specific genes that were transferred, claiming that information to be proprietary. Given that the soybeans have a pinkish color, it is likely that one of the genes codes for myoglobin, a protein that transports oxygen by binding it to an iron atom and myoglobin is pink. What is the point of incorporating a pig protein into soybeans? The argument is that as the world's population increases, the demand for dietary protein from animals will increase. But animal agriculture is not an environmentally friendly enterprise. Growing soybeans has a much smaller environmental footprint, and the proteins extracted from the beans can then be added to animal-free foods to boost protein content and provide a meaty flavor. Mulek does not make a secret of the piggy genes in their soybeans. Quite the opposite. They have coined the name piggy soy for their genetically engineered soybeans. Public acceptance will undoubtedly be an issue, but the target for these soybeans is not the Western world, but developing countries that are likely to be impacted by a protein shortage. Mulek is not the only company experimenting with inserting animal genes into plants. Polo Po, an Israeli firm, has inserted a chicken gene that codes for ovalbumin, the main protein found in egg white, into the genome of a potato. Once extracted from the potato, it can replace egg protein powder that is widely used in products that range from ice cream and pancakes to dietary protein supplements. There is no need to worry about being turned into a pig or a chicken by consuming the animal proteins produced in soybeans or potatoes, but no doubt cartoonists will seize the opportunity to poke fun and create alarm as they did with the fishy tomatoes that were never grown. That for today is our Kappa Joe.